So when we are developing self-driving cars and technologies around uh, collision avoidance, for instance, it is really important that we cover all possible scenarios that could happen on the road. It's really important that we try to see the human behavior in this aspect as well, because uh, some of these scenarios are either too dangerous to test in real life or they're too rare. The tool that we're using today, um, it's um, a game engine from Unity, uh, where uh, it's a real-time 3D tool, where we, it's kind of the inno innovation hub, where we mm -hmm. tie all these things together, where we create virtual environments, we bring our cars, test sensors, then we have VR headset where we can actually put the user in the simulation and uh, track their eyes and uh, interactions with our systems. And finally, uh, collaboration with the Tesla suit, which is fully haptic suit, uh, where we can add the feel of touch in a virtual environment. This is really where we combined all the technology that you've seen here previously. Okay. So we have. Uh, the unit environment and the headset and the Tesla suit. And uh, we can mix that together and do all the things combined while driving on the road. Everything that you see from this point and forward is exactly what the driver sees. It's from the driver's point of view. And now we're gonna do a transition from this physical XC90 to a virtual XC60 through this blue transition. And now we can see the XC60 is building up and we have the correct speed injected from the car into the virtual content and also the steering wheel movements. So the scenario we will play out now, we're gonna bring a virtual object in front of the car and the car will detect that object and automatically brake in order to prevent driving into the object. So here we can see a moose to the right and the car detects it and now it brakes. So this is some of the scenarios that we can perform with this very advanced uh, test rig.